most people would buy their home 20, 30, 40 years ago. They would only ever save to pay it down. And then they would hope that it would double in its value. Then it kind of got out of hand 30 years ago and said, okay, well, now we're going up five, six grand a year. I could easily sell properties in 2010 by looking at a sheet and saying, hey, look, what did the last comparable sell for? I would then increase it by three grand and you'd go monthly. And then it got to like 12 grand. Then in 2015, we were seeing increases of $12,000 over eight months spans. It's just far too aggressive. And then COVID hit. Hallelujah. Like everyone went to basically $150,000 of increases. So when I say you've owned your home in the last five years or plus, and this is the time to shine, pull it out. It's money that you would have never had access to. And I don't encourage you necessarily to put it all in financing with properties or real estate for that matter. But get it out of the bank, get it out of your house. Because even if you took out 25% of the equity and you paid down all your debts, any debts, credit card, um, high interest debts, um, anything that you're holding, clear it out, car payments or whatnot. Because it got to a point where we were financing properties and encouraging people to put down less money. So 5%, 6%, 7%. And take the remaining balance, which would have been the goal to put down 20%. So you save CMHC fees and paying off their car loans because interest rates, it's gotten out of hand and qualifying for in, for debt now, especially for mortgages with the A lenders, even the B lenders, it's simply almost impossible based on the annual salaries of two individuals working and to qualify for what we have as an average sale price of $748,000 in Ottawa. 